NASA just discovered a new planet that is 137 light years away from Earth. It is 2.5 times larger than Earth and might contain liquid water on this planet, but also the same system might harbor a second Earth. The interesting question is, does this planet consist of life? At the end of this video, you will find out what is a super Earth, how NASA found this planet, and also whether this planet consists of life or not. Super Earth is a planet that's larger and heavier than our Earth, but not as big as the giant planets in our solar system, like Jupiter or Saturn. Scientists are really interested in these planets because they're different from anything we have in our own solar system, and they want to learn more about them to understand how they form and if they could be habitable. NASA found this planet through a method called the transit method, which is the most used method for finding exoplanets. The transit method could be explained as this. Imagine you're in a big field, and there's a bright light far away that you're watching. Sometimes, something small passes in front of that light, like a bug flying by, and you see the light get a little dimmer for a bit before getting bright again. That is called the transit method. When a planet passes through its parent starlight from the star will get dim, and after the planet pass, the light will come back as before. Therefore, we can find planet in that star system. NASA has a special telescope called TESS that looks at really far away stars in space. TESS saw a star where something big, like a giant planet, was passing in front of it now and then. When this happens, the light from the star gets a little bit dimmer for a while, and then it gets bright again when the planet moves away. That's how NASA found the planet called Toy 175b. The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, was launched into space on April 18, 2018, aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. It's a special telescope that looks for planets outside our solar system, called exoplanets. TESS is the first of its kind, scanning the entire sky to find these distant worlds. TESS focuses on finding exoplanets around bright dwarf stars, which are smaller and fainter than our sun. During its main two-year survey, TESS watched these stars for signs of planets passing in front of them, which caused a slight dimming of the star's light. After its initial mission ended on July 4, 2020, TESS continued its search in an extended mission. So far, it has discovered a wide variety of planets, from small rocky ones like Earth to giant planets like Jupiter. This shows us just how diverse planets can be in other parts of our galaxy. Now we can go to some significant discoveries about Toy 175b. Toy 175b is a Neptune-sized exoplanet, meaning it's about 2.5 times the size of Earth. It's classified as a sub-Neptune, which means it's smaller than Neptune but larger than Earth. This suggests it likely has a thick atmosphere and may not have a solid surface like Earth. And this planet is half times as wide as Earth. It revolves around its parent star in the conservative habitable zone, which could give the planet the right temperature for liquid water to form on its surface. In addition to Toy 175b, two other planets have been discovered in the system, Toy 175c and Toy 175d. Toy 175c is also a sub-Neptune, while Toy 175d is a super-Earth, larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. As per NASA, the tighter orbits also mean those that cross the faces of their stars, that is, when viewed by our space telescopes, cross far more often. In the case of Planet B, that's once every 19 days, a year, on this strange world. The planet Toy 175b has been added to the list of planets in the habitable zone that the Webb telescope could look at more closely, possibly even looking for indications of an atmosphere. A lot will depend on the other characteristics of the planet. This leads to an interesting question about this video. Toei 175b is a big planet that goes around its star very closely. Because it's so close, it gets super hot, much hotter than Earth. This heat would make it hard for any water, which is important for life, to stay liquid. Also, Toei 175b might not have a solid surface like Earth, and its thick air would be too heavy for us to breathe. The planet's fast orbit and extreme conditions would also make it tough for any kind of life we know to survive there. So, even though Toei 175b is interesting, it's not a place where we'd expect to find living things like us, 